Hi, welcome to FREE. I'm Geraldine and today we are going to continue talking about chemistry. In the first video of this section we started talking about chemistry and what was our first reaction when we think chemistry. And we tried to change it to something good, something better that would help us learn chemistry. I wanted to share with you what was my reaction. When I thought chemistry, when I was a teenager, I thought C, 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 H, or something like that. Uh, so I thought a bunch of C's, and I didn't get what a molecule was. Um, I just didn't like the idea that you couldn't see on the chemical components that everything is an atom and a bunch of atoms makes a different atom. I just really didn't like that idea. And that was my thought. The result was I didn't do well in chemistry in high school. Lucky me, I had an aunt, thank you, Aunt Anna Maria, and she was a biology teacher or a chemistry teacher, I think. So she helped me after I had been struggling with chemistry. So she explained it all over to me. I mean, I obviously understood because I started understanding everything from zero. And well, I felt better because I could understand some things, etc. But what really changed my mind, my mood, my attitude towards chemistry was when my aunt taught me a song. When I was thinking about this anecdote, I realized that she didn't teach me the song. She made me and my brother uh, make the song. So she had had a class in which she had students make songs about chemistry. So she, she told us that we could do that uh, again because she didn't remember the lyrics of the song. I don't know if she didn't remember or she just wanted us to work but we did work. It was about the valences or valences of chemistry, you know? Well, we'll see that later. The song's in Spanish, so there's no point in singing it now, although I would love to. Um, the point is, I started um, not loving chemistry, so I still don't love it, uh, but not hating chemistry anymore looking at it with a different eye, looking at it differently since I had made a song and it was fun and I still remember it. Of course, I don't use balances for much in life, <laughs> but we are studying this, remember, because it's important. It's the foundation of biology and they're gonna ask us or tell us some things about biology and chemistry in the exams we have to take or you have to take. Anyways, uh, if you don't like chemistry, maybe uh, this song could cheer you up. I found this song about the, uh, the periodic table. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's just, it doesn't seem like you're studying chemistry, but you are. And it also helps you connect uh, chemistry to real life because chemistry is really all around us, like everything. So if you check the video and you, and it cheered you up. Now we can talk about chemistry a little. What is chemistry, really? Uh, where does the name come from? Well, it comes from ancient times, times in which some people try to, uh, you know, make some components and they call them alchemists. And from alchemists, from that word, the, the word chemistry remains. That is chemistry. We already learned how to pronounce it and how to spell it. Um, what is chemistry? Chemistry, as I told you, is everything, really, because we are made of matter, of something. So chemistry is happening all around us and we are chemical components. We are chemistry. Everything is chemistry. It's like, oh my. He said that we are studying it. Mm -hmm. We can think of dead things and alive things. We can think of uh, the elements of chemistry or we can think of living things. We're going to talk about living things because we're studying chemistry 
as the foundation of biology. So I was thinking, chick. I don't know, it's cute. You see it, and how can we see the chemistry in it? Well, you tell me, comment how you can see the chemistry in the chicken. Let's start zooming the chicken little by little. Right now we see a fluffy, beautiful thing, and if we zoom it, uh, maybe we'll see a bunch of feathers. And maybe we zoom it, uh, we can see one feather alone. And if we zoom it more, we will see just one part of that feather. And it looks like a texture. Maybe we zoom it even more, and it does look, look more like a texture, like a pattern. It's actually a kind of, of tissue. It's made out of cells. If we yeah, even zoom it more, we will see uh, the cells in it, how the cells are. If we zoom it more, you can see um, the components in that particular kind of cell, which is a feather. And uh, maybe we will see a part of, I don't know, carrot, just for thinking. And if we zoom it, we will see nothing. And that is when we have to start trying to use our imagination. This is when I was blocked as a child. So now I'm not. I imagine, I keep imagining that we continue zooming and I want to see what, how the keratin is formed. Um, it's a molecule or it, there, it's a bunch of molecules together. Ah, look how they are joined together. And if we zoom it, we can see just one molecule together. And if we zoom it even more, we will see different chemical components, the chemical uh, elements, well, elements. And if we zoom in more, we will maybe get to see an atom. And if we keep zooming in, we will see a proton, a neutron, an electron. We keep zooming, there are lots of micro particles that they continue, micro, 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 super tiny particles that they continue studying. But there is the base of chemistry, the atom, right? And the different configurations of atom make different elements. And those elements combine, make a, a form, and that form combined makes a a kind of structure and the structure combined with other stuff makes in this case a cell a kind of cell and that cell combined with other cell makes a tissue a living tissue and that tissue combined with other kinds of tissues make a beautiful thing like a feather and that feather together with all the other kinds of tissues again makes a beautiful chick and there you have chemistry that was our first lesson which would you, which uh, other thing would you like to see we saw a chicken what would you like to see uh, comment let me know what you think of this video and uh, what's the next thing in chemistry you want to learn or you think you really need to learn thank you subscribe and see you soon.